Hello everybody, Steve from FCP Audio here and today we're going to show you how to build an audio track from scratch using our sound stacks. If you've downloaded and installed the free track called Untouchable from our website or purchased any of the audio sound stacks from fcpaudio.com then you'll find the tracks right here in your sidebar. Look under the Final Cut Pro sound effects and you'll see the pack there. Click on that and you'll see all of your music loops and effects. Each song comes with a pre-recorded long version, a medium version and a short version and all the loops you need to produce your own versions which you can preview from the sidebar. So before we begin let's ensure that we have the snap tool here enabled. Every sound stack pack comes with a click track which is extremely helpful in editing your video and the first thing we're going to do is drag this click track onto our timeline here and you may need to turn the volume down too because you don't need to hear it at this stage. We'll come back to the functions of the click track later. So let's start with an intro. We can use all of these part A's here. So let's drag them into the timeline and see how that sounds. Yep, that's a great start. And I think what we'll do is we'll just fade in the plink up and see how that sounds. Yep, good, that's better. Now, we haven't used all of the loop A's in this example. Obviously, you can use as many or as few as you need to build the song to match your visuals. So we're now going to move on to loop B's. As you can see, we've got loop A's here, uh, loop B's, and then moving on to loop C's. So we're going to drag in the loop B's, which include drum and percussion parts. And let's hear the transition between loop A's and loop B's. <laughs> Yep, that's perfect. So what we're going to do is highlight all of the loops which we just dragged in. Command C to copy, Command V to paste. And I think we'll use lead loop B just here as an extra. Drop that in and let's have a listen to that. Great, now that's sounding pretty good. So we'll dive straight into the loop C's. Drag a few of these in here, and then we'll have a listen to the transition between loop B's and loop C's. Great, now that's coming along well. Um, a lot of the tracks within the sound stacks come with an ending track. So here it is, and we'll drag that one in, and it's named accordingly, in this case it's loop D, and we'll have a listen to the transition between the loop C into the D end. Yep, that's great. Now, as you can imagine, you could have as many loop A's or as many loop B's in a row to make any length of song and any arrangement using whichever combinations you prefer and however many loops you want to use. Now, many of the Soundstack bundles will also have effects and here we've got white noise. I think we'll add this in as well. And I think we'll use it at the end and at the start. And again, we're going to add a fade in here and a fade out there. And once you're happy with the arrangement of your song, we need to set its volume level. So we'll select all the clips that we've added. And as you can see from the output meters here in Final Cut Pro, as we've added layers of audio, we've eventually pushed the audio output in Final Cut into clipping. So having selected all the clips, we need to go up to the top here to the master volume and pull it down by an amount which is slightly more than the amount that's showing in the clip meter. Let's hear that now. Great, obviously you can fine tune that just as much as you need to. But now we've got all the clips highlighted, we can right click and choose new compound clip to combine all the audio into one easily managed segment. I'm going to call that main track and we now have one rendered audio track which is ready to do any other alterations to etc. For example, we can fade it in, fade it out in this example or add effects or whatever we choose to do. Now let's go back to the click track that I spoke about earlier here and I'll turn it up so that we can hear it and I'll zoom in so that we can see it more clearly. Okay, so we're zoomed in now and you can see how it looks like a series of pulses in the timeline. So let's have a listen to the click track. 
So this is effectively the tempo of the song. To create a professional and integrated feel to our video and audio editing, if we cut our video above the markers on the click track, and therefore to its tempo, we can create great transitions. So if we hit Command B to select the blade tool, and we make sure that we get that cut right at the beginning of the click track points where they're visible on the click track, just there. There's one, and in this case I think I'll do every other click. And now I'm going to go back to our video, and in this case I'm just going to add some additional images. So I'll drag these images in, and we'll have a look at what it sounds like with the music. First of all we'll turn the click track back down, and here we go. And as you can see, the cuts and transitions are perfectly in time with the music, which goes a long way towards integrating the music in the video. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us via our email address info at fcpaudio.com and please download the free Untouchable track via the links below. Thank you from FCP Audio.